Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm helping somebody on this recipe card. And handwriting is really, really hard, and we've gotten it pretty close. We've kind of been working together on it. But if you look at some of the lettering, like inside the glass, you can actually see the rounded part of the A and kind of an S, S. So on, on the one we traced, this kind of looks like an SS, but there's no rounded shape in there. And this is, this is a difficult situation because if you're messing with somebody's handwriting and you change it too much, I'm going to go up to object and group and ungroup it. If you change it too much, then it's not their handwriting anymore. And as you can see, there's no uh, opening there. But if we look at this, it, it looks, and you would have to do this to quite a few letters, but it does look like a, a circle and not this, you know, they wrote it with like a Sharpie and so when the pen faded away, I'm guessing. And this kind of looks a little sharp. So you could play around with it a little bit and make it a little bit less sharp. Um, kind of more like an A. But what you could also do to fill in that spot would be to take a an oval. Doesn't have to be very big. And now that it's a hairline, so it's going to look really thick. And then kind of put it in an angle and put it in there and maybe more of an angle and maybe even stretch it out a little bit. And then what you could do is you could take that A and left click and then take your smart fill tool and fill that in with black and then take away your circle. And from a distance, it looks a little better. So, but if you do too much more than that, um, you're messing with the person's handwriting and it's like the, the two S's are, you know, this is a little more of an S than this is. So you can't really do too much to it. Um, but you could, especially if you have the smoothing tool, you could smooth that out a little bit, Mike. You know, just kind of go through here and uh, not much you could do with this, just real lightly. Uh, you could smooth out the whole thing. I, I noticed like part of this R right here, that might just be a shape tool repair. As you can see, don't really need that node and kind of make it look. And the way it's been traced, there's stuff on top of each other, but it doesn't really matter. You know, in that, let's look at refrigerator. Refrigerator, you can see a little bit of a white. Um, so, you know, you couldn't maybe do it to all the letters, but like the two, this, let's look at the, see, there's definitely a hole there. There is an opening, so Corel traced that opening, and but you could maybe do something with that there. Um, maybe maybe make the opening a little bit bigger. Maybe even close the opening a little bit. And um, other than that, you're uh, you're working with somebody else's signature. That if you're trying to preserve this signature. And that's the only reason I could think for this person's handwriting, there's not much you could do. You know, maybe make this P a little bit better. This is two parts that have been joined together. So let's maybe right click and close the curve, see what happens and that didn't work. Uh, you could go through here and right click, left click. Well, you know, it was blown up so much I couldn't tell what I was doing. And then when you do that, you can kind of see this more jagged edge that you could definitely probably use a smooth tool on. Of course, now it's way too big, 0 0.01. You can get in here and smooth this out. A lot of times when the smoothing tool is that small, well, it's not going to do too much. Got to make sure you, but it might be worth 
you know, might be because you you don't want to do too much, but you can see it can't do much. Uh, let's bump it up a little bit. And just kind of smooth things out. Uh, I was hoping you could come in here and cut a line through here, but I don't think it's going to work because you're just going to take away the, the parts aren't big enough. So let's grab this, this shape tool again and maybe do this and come through here. wonder if it'll let us cut that without cutting. Yeah. And then take all these, go up to windows, dockers, join curves. And if you have your thing set on pretty little, it didn't do it. It's too big or maybe we're, let me just try two different, one at a time. There we go. One at a time. Looks a little better. And then you could go back with the smoothing tool and just smooth that out just ever so much. Just kind of give it a little bit better of a feel, I guess. That does look better. And then I would just, you'd have to go through and look at every letter like she, the person did right below the G, below the line. So there's really, really not too much you can do. That O looks more complete than the new trace version. So you could uh, do a lot with that. Take the shape tool. Just the regular shape tool and grab it. And then just kind of bring it down. Anyway, there's a lot you could do with that. And then I would definitely use the smoothing tool on it. Now, when you really use the smoothing tool on these two parts are not connected, you could go hold down the shift key and go to object and combine it together. And then when you use the smoothing tool, it's all one object, so it's kind of smooth it all at one time. But like I said, don't do too much or it won't look like it. You know, and, and really, when he first sent this to me, he said, the lines can be engraved. Well, it'd be neat if the lines weren't there. But I really don't think you can do it because some of the lines are connected. And just for your information, I just retyped these words. Because the, the, the trace on this was terrible. And since this isn't part of the handwriting, I did just type those in. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.